characters are going to have problems with Rosalina. I think on the highest of high levels, where it's like Nairo to Buzz and, you know, Mars versus to Buzz and stuff like that, I think Zero Suit can beat Rosalina. Um, but I think if Tech Chase were to play against Rosalina, he'd have some problems. But uh, Bayonetta Robin, I really don't know how to feel about this. I mean, you know, a couple months ago, you would have said, when are we ever going to see this matchup? There's no reason to ever study it. But now we've got significant Robin mains coming out. We've got still significant Bayonetta mains. And these two are quite good at their craft. Yeah, definitely. Uh, we, we saw how good Robin could be this weekend at Shine with Daph uh, taking second place, or sorry, third place. Very nearly second. I mean, that was a game five set against Esam at the end there. I, I It honestly shocks me when we, you know, we're two years into this game or so now, and we're still getting events where it's like, oh, this person that we've heard of, you know, they're pretty good, and then they get, like, third at a major, and you think to yourself, hang on a second. What? <laughs> I mean, it just shows the, the depth that the game still has. There's so much untouched territory overall. And it's why calling matchups like this can be really tricky. Great tech from Tech Chase. Makes it back onto the stage. He's getting some defensive options here, but we're yet to really see any signs of offense. What I like from Iggy is the way that he is steadily playing against against uh, Tech Chase here, right? Um, I think that the, uh, the labels are actually switched up. Right? I, yeah, I think that uh, Highland is the other brother and also incorrect. Yeah. <laughs> uh, wrong brother, wrong place, the two yeah. for one. I mean, it's it, we're so excited to have Highland here actually playing that, of course, we'd try to get him on stream as many times as we can because we know you guys in the chat love him, I think. It's that next level trolling. He took over the stream setup himself. <laughs> And wow, strong okay. Ariel actually gets the KO. And this is one of the terrifying parts of playing against Robin in general. You rack up the percentage, but then you have to worry about how strong those aerials are afterwards as Iggy quickly found out. Dead even game with the forward throw. Iggy, again, trying to press the advantage and play a very close quarters game. He doesn't want Tech Chase to start having the area to actually build the resources. Uh-oh. Yeah. Wow. That's... The one thing about Bayonetta that's still, you know, if back when, before, like pre-patch Bayonetta, we all complain about the, uh, you know, the up Bs and the up airs and the side Bs in the air, and now that that's gone, that is the annoying combo that you, that Bayonetta really forces you to not be able to play in a corner and uh, the character like Robin who likes to sit in a corner, throw up walls and try to force you to approach so that. You know, you have perfect spacing for your 11 sword. Um, that will happen, uh, especially on a, on a stage like, you know, I mean, it wouldn't happen here as much as it would on a stage like Smashville. Um, I think that Dreamland is a great counterpick since Iggy uh, very much kills off the side with Bayonetta much more than he kills off the top. And because Robin's main kill confirm does go off the top, I think this is just a fantastic counter. You know, I'm, I'm inclined to agree with you as well, Aquapod. I think the extra breathing room doesn't hurt either. If Tech Chase wants to, he can put, perhaps retreat to the platforms. Uh, the big question for me is whether he's going to be relying on normals more in this game. And if so, will we be seeing the witch times as a retort from Iggy? I think that the big thing that Tech Chase kind of needs to work into his game as far as uh, being a Robin player goes is he needs to be a little bit more aggressive with 11 sword, less conservative with it. And then when it runs out or starts to run out, then he can start throwing up arc fire and thunder walls until that 11 sword comes back. And then he can keep throwing out that ridiculously strong hitbox. Well, he's going to need to throw up everything that he has right now. Iggy, a quick sequence takes Tech Chase straight off the top and maybe seeing another sequence now. No, missing the follow-up, but still a tough spot for Tech Chase, who has to find some serious answers. And without the aid of Rage, he may not be finding a quick KO as early as he would like. Almost dying right there. Being able to save himself, he does know the boundaries of his character very well. Haven't played Robin for quite a while now. Great grab there. I, I think that the biggest problem that he's going to have, other than climbing this mountain of percentage, is the fact that once Iggy gets comfortable, it's very hard to get him out of that comfort zone. It takes a lot of pressure to get him out of a, a dis, uh, into a discomfort zone. And you see it right there. He was comfortable enough to just go off stage and just challenge Tex Chase, even though it's very easy for Bayonetta to just suddenly lose the stock off stage. You're absolutely right. And that, again, is a couple of things. It means that you have 
mastery of your character overall. Uh, you have trust in yourself to be able to ensure that you won't be able to kill yourself afterwards. And trust in your character beyond that as well. That You know what? I, I have this understanding of my character. I know that this is how far off I can go and still have a safe way to make it back. So. 